Hello and welcome to these videos about EcoStructure GeoSCADA Expert. GeoSCADA Expert is the remote SCADA and telemetry software from Schneider Electric. My name is Steve and in this video we're going to cover how to use the Spark Plug B DDK driver. This video follows on from the two previous ones for the MQTT and DDK drivers, but takes the subject to a new level. Spark Plug B defines a specification for MQTT content that is usable across SCADA and telemetry applications. It uses the binary data format of Google protocol buffers. It uses the structure of Eclipse Cura messaging and the namespace of Spark Plug B, which defines an interoperable SCADA protocol. Get started by downloading the guide from the Schneider Electric Exchange website. The guide will tell you where to get the source code from on GitHub and include step-by-step -step instructions for building, installing and testing the driver. In this demonstration, we'll use Node-RED for testing and the Mosquito Broker. We follow the installation instructions for Node-RED and Mosquito and also install the Spark Plug node type into Node-RED from the Node package repository. This is a simulator for Spark Plug B that creates and manages a source of data. We're going to start by creating and configuring a single GeoSCADA object, a broker object. We configure this to point to the broker and specify the server to enable communications. We also place it in service. We configure the group ID, which defines the group of devices to which Spark Plug will connect. And we'll configure a username and password with configuration credentials in GeoSCADA and the group folder where devices are going to be set up. Now go to the Node-RED web page. There are some functions that simulate a device and node connection, and these define the signals, their properties, and the initial value. The simple JavaScript program sets the message timestamp, five digital points and five analog points, and those have a unit's property of feet, and they are all set to random values. The Spark plug node defines a connection to the MQTT server its security and the group ID and edge node ID. The group ID matches the one that's configured in the driver's broker. Now click the spark plug node to connect the node and device. Let's go to see what has happened at the GeoSCADA server. When we see the status of the broker, it has entries at the bottom which state that a device is pending configuration and the spark plug identification of that device is shown. If we were to look, there's an alarm and an event to state that configuration is pending. Now click on the context menu of the broker and request this configuration. You could place this action on a mimic. Here's the alarm. If we expand the configuration group, it will reveal that the driver has configured the node, the device and its points automatically. And all of that is linked together. The node and the device, if you recall, are the owners of the points and points have been assigned names that correspond to properties as configured in the node red test script. The device is linked to the node. The configuration was initiated manually by us right clicking on the object. If desired, the configuration can be fully automated by selecting the broker property for it. Of course, this is optional. Now to take automatic configuration to the next level, I'm going to set a couple more properties on the broker and then convert the configuration that we've received into GeoSCADA templates. These will control and extend new configuration. Start by moving each group into a templates group. Now I'm going to remove the node reference from the device. This is necessary for the template conversion. And then I perform the conversions into templates. Finally, 
add a link to the node template and to link to the group of templates into the broker object and save it again. So right now, there's no active configuration in Geoscada apart from the broker. We'll see what happens when we go back to node red and resend the node message. Not only are the properties for addressing and reading data configured, but the driver also configures other properties that are coming in from the Spark plug points. For example, the units property here is set from the Spark plug device. And in fact, any GeoScada property could be added to the code and allowed to auto configure. Finally, we'll click a node red function to cause data to be sent through to GeoScada. This is a simulated source of random data. And when you look in Vuex, you can see two values, and that's because the first birth message can contain data values too. Here's a recap of the subjects covered this time. We looked at the Spark Plug B protocol and how you can use it with Geoscada. The broker object is the server connection that's used to gather data and metadata. Node Red is a simulator for Spark Plug, and there are more devices being made available to talk about protocol. This driver offers a glimpse into the future with fully automated and templated configuration. This is going to change and reduce the amount of engineering hours needed for telemetry devices. Goodbye, and please join me again.